one I will make Hey baby I love you too, sweetie Okay, that's kind of disturbing <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is, it's nothing you said, Killface, but this lady right here pulled a, I believe, tablet out of her butt, and I don't want to know how she kept it there. <laughs> hmm. I'm glad you. I, I'm glad you didn't put a period there, because that was that was gonna be my next question. How does that happen? But I don't think I want to know how that happens. <laughs> uh, well, tank regen crit build hybrid because uh, it has a pretty good crit chance with the backfire now. Oh, is this the 3%? This is the 3% armor regen. Alrighty, so I start off with the backfire, which is the brand new exotic. Uh, it's not maxed out at all, but um, it's really good. Better than it's mine. It's really, really good. The damage is crazy. Oh, let me read over. So, the payment in kind. Dealing damage to enemies adds a stack of 1% crit damage crit hit damage up to 200 stacks lasting to 10 seconds that's insane the fact that it stacks up to 200 is ridiculous on reload applies a 10 a 10 second bleed on yourself which deals a 0.5 damage to your armor per stack this gun can absolutely kill you for anybody that hasn't had it yet it will absolutely end you if you don't plan accordingly uh, so you I might have noticed get... this, and I thought the enemy killed me. <laughs> no, no, this gun will drop you, like, because the stronger no, it gets, you murdered the stronger yourself. that bleed, yeah, the stronger that bleed gets. So, like, the more shit you kill, the more, the more damage is going to inflict on you. So, if you have uh, any bleed resistance mods, you want to put those on, because it negates it pretty much completely if you put on two bleed resistance mods that are maxed out. You might have saw this in the other uh, build that I have. Still my favorite. F2000, in sync, uh, damage out of cover. It's It just it saws through people, no matter what you have on. So with this build, you don't necessarily have to have it this way. You just would like to get your, your three-piece Gilligard, your two-piece Golden Gear, and your one-piece bellstone armory. This is just for your 3% armor regen on your build. So you're constantly regening 3% of your armor just by having this on. So the first piece in the mask is the golden gear. Or the Gilligard, I'm sorry. It's maxed out armor. I rolled on crit, chant, crit, crit damage with the explosive resistance. And I have the crit damage mod on it. The backpack, I have golden gear. This one, I really wish the first ability wasn't status effect for the first piece that you get, but you can't do anything about that. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it, I feel like it's a wasted perk for what we're doing, but I don't think this was supposed to happen in the game. <laughs> so, yeah, but anyway, um, the Golden Gear backpack, uh, I got on armor for it with crit chance and crit damage. Wasn't maxed out. This is how it was rolled. I just rolled on the adrenaline rush because it's just more armor, and this is kind of an in-your-face kind of build. So you want to have adrenaline rush, so you can counter anybody that's rushing you. It's just an extra bonus. Chess piece. This is hands down my favorite chess piece for any kind of tank builds. The everyday carrier. Um, this was the new one I got with the um, the season pass. So it already gives you the 1% armor regen right off the bat for the brand set. The core attribute I rolled on for the maximum armor, which is the 170,000. It has health on it, which I would like it to be armor regen, but I'm not complaining. Uh, it's health and almost maxed out. And then headshot damage. Of course, I'll roll on the crit damage. And with this new um, named... Yeah, with the name chess piece, it has perfect efficiency. You've never used efficiency, it just has the 50% chance to not consume an armor kit. With perfect efficiency, they raised it, raised it to 75%, which is insane, and it actually works, I'd say, 75% of the time. I use this build because I can run around and kill stuff, and I have it feels like an unlimited amount of armor kits. So, tank build, perfect efficiency is amazing. Gloves. We have the golden gear, 
it's status effects still for the first one, but you're just doing this to get to the armory gem. Again, if you can get crit damage and crit chance on here, it's best. But as you can see mine, I just had a 6% headshot damage and 11.74 crit damage. Then you can go over to the holster. Uh, I really lucked up with this one because I got two reds already with the maxed out armor and then the maxed out headshot. And I could just roll on crit damage. And this is the golden gear. Three pieces of this will also accumulate the armor regen for the 1%. The Gilligard knee pads. I couldn't get the maxed out for the armor regen. I really want to have like my 2.1 for the, the armor on here. But it's just really difficult to opt optimize this build. It's, <laughs> it's so specific to look for. Um, so I could max out the crit damage. And unfortunately, I got weapon handling on here. But it just looks good with the blues and the reds. So I kept the weapon handling, and I'm good to go with this build. The stat line for it, the crit chance and crit damage on this blue build, I have a 41% chance to do 144.8 crit damage. It's pretty solid for a blue build. So just every now and then, if you see armor or armor gear and it has reds, don't be so quick to dismantle it because it can make something very awesome. That's it, Riker.